I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Wait, y'all thought he was done? Tyrese is spinning the block more than your favorite drill rapper. Now, last night, Tyrese unloaded three different videos. This last one I'm gonna play for you guys is the last one. He said he's no longer responding back, which, by the way, Tyrese has made maybe about five, six other videos after that. Now, I'm not even sure which one is worse, this one or the last one I posted. If you guys haven't watched that, make sure you guys go check it out. Now, DJ Envy has made it clear I do not play about my wife and my kids. Now, in this video, Tyrese throws a little bit of shade at his wife. Not only that, but looks like Tyrese has been armed with some new information regarding Envy's alleged Ponzi scheme. He once again calls out Envy for allegedly taking people's money. For being honest, Tyrese knows exactly what he's doing. He's trying to get something trending to go viral on Envy. Whether it's about his marriage, the alleged lawsuits about real estate, or lying about Tyrese disrespecting his wife. Here's what Tyrese said. Tell me what you guys think about this man. Push comments below. Scratch my channel like this video. I'll see you guys later. Five, six years of us being in touch in any capacity. Make it make sense. You can't make it make sense because it don't. I'm going to go back to Charlemagne, who you're with five days a week. I need to box you in your mouth because you disrespected my wife. Charlemagne says, what did he say? What did he do? You know why Charlemagne don't know what I said and did? Because I never did it. You don't want nobody to attack your wife and your family. That's your bottom line. I'll tell you what my bottom line is. Until I take my last breath, maybe it's the Capricorn in me. I'll never let a violate my character, put words in my mouth, or paint a picture, manipulating, gaslighting, and putting me in this light for something that I never did. And if y'all gonna say I did something, just understand that I've been dealing with the courts. Divorce number two, baby mama number two, they don't deal in emotions. They don't deal in feelings. They don't deal in the courts. They don't deal with hearsay. What they deal with is receipts. Proof and evidence to back it up. Otherwise, the real reason that you had your wife to call into that station with that monologue that both of y'all rehearsed is because social media was beating the shit out of you. Because you was a goofy ass foul Self-consumed. You have your own self-interest in mind. You don't give a fuck about nobody, what you say, what you do, and the effects that it has on other people. That's why you're in the middle of all them lawsuits now. You'd rather go rob the average man and woman, take all their fucking money and do a Ponzi scheme than to think about how they gave you their last hoping and praying that they can take this small piece of an investment and turn it into something bigger. That's some heartless And then when it all goes down, what do you do? Now it's your partner's fault. Now it's what he did and what he kept away from you and you ain't got nothing to do with what was going on. You ain't know nothing that you caught off guard. It's all out in the open, bro. That's what it is, right? We're entertainers. Let me tell you who I am. I'm far from perfect. But I've been around everybody's wife. Everybody's girlfriend, everybody's baby mama. I didn't knock down some of the baddest on human feet. I have myself. No disrespect, but I wouldn't even look in her direction, bro. This is me speaking on me. 
I wouldn't even look in that direction. That's all you, bro. If you want to get a sense of my pedigree and where I normally land, I can send it to you. <laughs> Come on, bro. Accuse me of something that actually makes sense. Wolf in sheep clothing. This guy that knows how to swindle his way into something and then his agenda becomes something. Uh, Y'all describing a lot of people, but you're not describing me. That ain't what the f I am. That ain't who I am. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna also say this, bro. I wouldn't be putting this up on my Instagram. I wouldn't be posting if all of this shit that just happened didn't play out for the world to see on your breakfast club. You definitely had every opportunity in the world. Six years <laughs> of an opportunity to call me, text me, confront me, or come at me about anything that you claim or your wife claimed that I actually said or did. Six whole years. You know what that's, you know what that is on the West Coast? the west coast we would define you as a not just not not that you're not a man huh? you're still a man <laughs> but you're not a man you a if you're gonna let anybody still be in touch with you or your first lady in any capacity after i supposedly violated and overstepped so I would say this to you, sir. Leave the it alone. Y'all can respond. Y'all can defend yourself. Y'all can go ahead and do the next 10 episodes of The Breakfast Club attacking my life, my character. Y'all can have texting y'all, calling y'all, trying to give y'all the drop on this and that, trying to create some time. Y'all can invite on your show to do full interviews to try and describe me as something whatever picture they want to paint until i take my last breath nigga, i will defend my name i will defend my intentions and i will speak up and out about the truth and the truth is not always a good truth you don't want to tell the truth. I'm willing to tell the truth even if I embarrass the shit out of myself. Even if I throw myself under the bus. Even if I got to apologize. Even if I got to make whatever calls. I've been texting and calling.